everyone, we are Cecilia and Julia, here for the 14th edition of the Kafos Kaishwar Film Festival. We are here with... Um, Petri Ukhaidari. And I'm Dries Rome Meitai. The co-producer and the director of Dieli, a short film which is part of the international competition. So, uh, our first question uh, deals with the main topic of the short film, which is alcoholism. Uh, but um, what was interesting was the way it was, um, you talk about it, uh, in a very non-judgmental way. Uh, so our, our question is, what made you choose this topic? Uh, and what do you want the viewers and the audience to take from the short film? Um, I chose this story because I, uh, I happen to be, how to say it, like, um, a lot of these kind of stories went in front of me because of many reasons. Uh, my mother works at the library and she was in charge for the people who were sent by professional service to do the community work. I also work in, in a documentary. I did the editing about the juvenile justice system in Kosovo and I like heard many or be, been part of many stories of alcoholism or drug abuse and then that there is this thing that you notice when you spend time with these people that it's uh, it's never personal towards someone. People who struggle with addictions, it's always uh, the real problem is with themselves. And uh, this film tries to show just that you know, like uh, it's more like a character-based story. Like two characters, uh, we try to build the circumstances, and then a lot of things came from the actors because. It's a film that it's leans on the actors to make it functional, not necessarily to the story. And the idea was to make like a character-based story, not to try to carry some message or you know like to make a point or build a statement. Even though it's sometimes very hard to avoid it, but the idea was just to present these characters like a relationship between father and son. And the second question actually deals with this. This very intimate relationship is the center of the film, but actually most of it is filmed outside the home in public spaces or directly outside. So you have a very bright photography. We wanted to ask you if that was a conscious choice, what are the effects? And also if you had any technical problems during filming outside. Uh, thank you, yeah, I need to answer this. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the thing is, uh, we, we approached the story like uh, in a way where we like experience some of uh, uh, th uh, things while we grew up, so while we uh, develop the style of, of uh, how, how it would be shot, we, we had the idea in mind that we would like emphasize the places where we live, where we gathered, where we, uh, I mean, uh, talked about this film and many of the films that uh, we, we've worked on with Drita, also some commercials. So we had some landmarks like the National Library where uh, the, the main uh, act happens, uh, but also uh, it was very intuitive, I think. It was logistically planned to happen like, so it would be for the actors like very intuitive how the story would happen on a certain area, for example, uh, around the house and uh, it was uh, meant to be a cinema verite kind of shoot but we aestheticized it a bit in order to give it a certain character so uh, to, to uh, show the emotion and the dynamics of the story a bit more so I you notice like we chose uh, two I mean it's the same style but um for example, when he's with his father, like camera is a bit shaky and represents his chaotic life with his father. But then when he goes to the library, even though we went for a cinema verite style, it's still like more uh, peaceful, more uh, stylized with dolly and stuff to represent like uh, him trying to put things in order or at least he has some place which helps him put his life back on track. Uh, up to when the father comes to the library. And becomes shaky. Uh, <laughs> he brings the way of, uh, of his uh, living. The so turbulence. Yeah, so yeah. Also, the, at the ending, it's like more calmed down. Uh, we, we, we get to the reality of the father. Yeah. 
And then there is uh, there is this scene when you break the glass of the car. I sacrificed <laughs> the glass <laughs> of my car, but I indirectly we almost sacrificed like the master's life. Because the stone almost fell on the on the camera. I, I didn't anticipate that the act would be that way. We talked about the data, he's gonna break the glass, like it, it's gonna be uh, him furious about these things and stuff. Like we, we approached it in a very, very like uh, uh, discreet uh, kind of way. But when the act started to happen, I wouldn't interrupt everything. So I saw him pick like a big rock <laughs> doing this. So. He aimed at the camera and I was like <laughs> steadily like, like just observing and he almost like he shot the, the uh, he shot at the glass but some bits and pieces of the glass like went directly to the lens on the camera but we overcame that so it was worth it. <laughs> okay. okay, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, the last question is about uh, the fact that this is your second time at Kaposkari Short Film Festival but uh, this time you have um, a short film in competition, so how do you feel about that? Um, I was happy to, because like first time I applied with a music video and we received like the award for the best music video, which made us very happy. An interesting fact that was that your statues are made from glass and when I received in Prague your statue it was like completely shattered. <laughs> And then no, I started, <laughs> but I restart the festival and I told them and then you sent me another statue which was not made of glass and which was like quite beautiful. And then now uh, I choose like a, a, a distribution company to send them to the festivals. And I was happy to realize that they sent again to Kafaskari without me knowing and I was happy to know that I got accepted. Last time I couldn't be here, present here, but uh, this time um, we did our best. To come here and I also want to emphasize about the film because we talked about the approach and technical aspects I think it's a film based on characters based on actors like the actor carries the story and what was amazed that um, I knew both of like all of the actors before and with some I worked before but I was quite surprised about their performances with you know like the father played by Agron and the son played by Yumi and the rest of characters and I think that is what makes this film special. Yeah, absolutely. We noticed as well the character really <laughs> come through. Yeah, that short run time is a short yeah. film, but all the characters, not just the protagonists, have yeah, yeah. layers in their conflict. <laughs> yes, for sure. Okay. Well, um, well, thank you very much for your time and uh, good luck with the competition. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much.